This is a, a crisis, a slow crisis that's happening, and we're not paying attention. Protesting climate change is a Friday tradition for this Edmonton man. He's so passionate about it, he had a friend crochet him this scarf, mapping out the city's average weather data year over year. This is 1880, way over here, and as we move along through the 1900s, it starts turning over here, and this is a 2000s. And that's pretty red over here, way above average. Reaction to a sign urging people to use less fossil fuels has changed since the Alberta election started, increasingly polarized. We're really passionate about the political landscape right now. Um, so yes, there's a, you know the people that are angry at me are angry at me. He's been disappointed in the lack of real talk about environmental policy from the main parties, and he's not alone. You know, there are some of us that would like to see more sort of debate and more sort of debate of the actual um, way that these policies work and what their likely impacts are to have. This political scientist says the current campaign is far removed from 2012, when we had a major political party denying the science of climate change. All four main parties, except human carbon emissions, contribute to climate change. When it comes to the frequency of extreme weather events, like the floods of 2013 or the Fort McMurray wildfire, he says dealing with climate change now can help financially down the road. While what's being proposed in this election by all parties is not seen as enough to meet the targets from the UN. We've mainly just been hearing about the carbon tax, which is a hard political sell. The way that the revenue from a tax is used, and not just thinking about what's the most efficient use, but also thinking about the political implications of that use. For this climate activist, he hopes voters think of the environment, even if it's taken a back seat this election. They're not, they're not talking about it. I mean, right now, the, the election is getting to be personal. It's either him or her. In Edmonton, Carly Robinson, City News.